Hi everybody, it's Wednesday again and it is Wednesday Connect, all things community. When we talk about community, uh, we can start thinking about that word and we can start thinking about living together. We start thinking about our neighbors, we start thinking about people that go to church with us. And that's really when we live in a community of people, we have something in common. The thing that we have in common as Christians is we serve Jesus Christ. We have a triune God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with us now, another comforter, as Jesus said, I will send you another comforter. I love what it says in the Greek there, that another comforter, the word there, another, means one like me. So the Holy Spirit is not separate from Jesus. He's part of the Godhead. He's like Jesus because he's part of the same Godhead. And, if, and his function might be, might be different, but he forms part of the same God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we have another comforter with us, the Holy Spirit. Now, let's go to a scripture in the Psalms that speaks about unity, isn't it? Isn't it powerful when people can start to work together? On Sunday, I spoke about them building the Tower of Babel, or Babel as they say. And as they were able to speak the same language, they were able to, to, to get this tower up. And they said, we will build to the sky. And God actually said, if they put their minds to this, nothing will stop them. They'll be able to do this. So let's stop them. Let's confuse their languages so that they can be scattered upon the earth. Now I look at this and I, I think of unity in the church. Imagine we have unity in the fact that we want to spread the name of Jesus, the gospel, what Jesus has done, the good news. Gospel means good news. The good news that Jesus paid the price for all humanity's sin and that people can be saved under one name, the name of Jesus. And through his resurrection, we can have eternal life. If we all focused on that, the gospel, imagine what we can accomplish for the kingdom of God. Now, we are distracted by many other things, but unity amongst us means that we agree that Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God just as Peter had that revelation. And we proclaim that through not only our words, but through our actions every day. The way we love people around us. Community is very much how you treat other people around you. And the way that God treats you is the way you need to treat others. That's why the Bible says, Lord, the way you love us is the way we need to love others. That's where love, the tacky hits the tar, as they say. That's where love gets into action, is when we start loving people. It's the... Um, vertical relationship us with God that meets the horizontal relationship which is us with other people that's where community is formed now community can go so much further than that that's the starting point the foundation of it but from there we begin to care for one another pray for one another witness to one another and really carry each other's burdens when one part of the body hurts the other part of the body hurts listen to what Psalm 133 says about unity it says how wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony or unity for harmony is as precious as the anointing oil that was poured out on Aaron's beard that ran down his beard or sorry on his head that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion and there the Lord has pronounced his blessing even life everlasting now there's two symbols that is used in, in this passage of scripture it says it's like oil now remember Moses in Leviticus, Moses anointed his, his brother Aaron. He anointed him with the oil. And I just want to make you aware of what happened there. Quickly go to that scripture there. In just on a, oh, Leviticus 8 verse 10 and 12. Then Moses took the anointing his, to his brother Aaron. Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it and consecrated them. He poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head and anointed him to consecrate him. Now both oil and dew, oil on the head of Aaron and dew on Mount Hermon speaks about refreshing. How refreshing it is. How beautiful, how pleasant it is. I mean, when you're in a place, listen, in Israel, they, they have a custom. When someone comes in from outside, their feet are full of dust because they wear sandals. Now, they, now what they would do is the servant would come and they would wash your feet. But there's another thing that they would do. They would pour oil on your head for refreshing. Isn't that amazing? So you can feel fresh, that fresh anointing coming on you, that fresh feeling of being cleansed. And that's what they used to do with, with guests that come into the house. So it's a refreshing it's a refreshing to people around us when they can see unity amongst us in the church. People will be touched 
by this unity. People's lives will be transformed when they walk into a community of believers that truly love one another. It will be like oil running on their heads. And remember, Aaron was anointed as a priest. He was anointed by his brother Moses. He was anointed as a priest and he was then specially set aside for this. And this is the special anointing that comes upon us when there's unity. God's anointing flows amongst us. That dew of Hermon that waters the ground, that waters everything that grows. Things can begin to grow amongst us, the good side, when we have unity amongst us. There will be sustenance. There will be dew. There will be oil on the head. There will be refreshing. And I pray today that you and I will look after this unity, that we will live in peace with people as far as possible, as the Bible says. And you and I will make an effort to live with our brothers and sisters in Christ in unity, in community. And the reason for that is Jesus and that people may come to this community and that they may find that Christ is the center of our community. I'm going to pray with you today. Look after your unity in your own family at home. Look after your unity with the community in church and look after the unity that can be established when people are drawn in to the kingdom of God through the salvation message, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us pray together. Father, I thank you for this day, for unity that can exist amongst us when we are focused and filled with the Holy Spirit. Lord, that we are focused on you, Christ, that our main goal is to see people come to salvation, Lord, but that we would also love others around us in the same way that you have loved us. Lord, I pray that our unity be so flowing in these days amongst us Christians and it be like the oil that was in the head of Aaron poured out and running down his beard onto his collar, onto his garment. Lord, I pray let it be like Mount De Herman's dew, refreshing and bring growth in the church, Father. I pray for a strong unity amongst us. I pray, Lord, that every division will be broken down. And I pray for families to stand in unity before you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Pop a, pop a comment there uh, at, below in, in our comment section. Please, if you need prayer for anything, let us know. If you're somewhere and, and you're saying, I, I received that message, please let us know. And we'd love to hear from you guys. Share it with your family and friends as far as possible. God bless. We'll see you guys on Sunday. It is 8.30 and 10 o'clock here at the Open Door West Point Church. Have an awesome day. Don't forget, there's unity in the community because of Jesus.